Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video where we will be discussing the past year question for the year of 2022-2023. In this video, we will discuss question 4 uh, which involves chapter 5 states of matter. Question A. A sample of zinc metal reacts completely with hydrochloric acid as shown in the equation below. Zinc will react with HCl to form zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. Okay. Based on the question, the hydrogen gas produced is collected over water displacement at 25 degrees Celsius. The volume of gas is 7.8 liter and the pressure is 0 0.98 atm. Okay, question asks to calculate the amount of zinc metal in grams uh, in the reaction if the pressure of water at 25 is 0 0.0. 313 ATM. So right now the question wants the mass of zinc. Okay, this zinc, the reactant here. Okay, so this is basically from chapter 5. Okay, so for chapter 5, uh, especially 5.1 gas, what are the formula that you have to memorize is PV is equal to NRT. So P for pressure, V for volume, and number of mole. R is your gas constant. So your constant, if you look based on the list of constant, R, there are two values. So for this chapter, um, for chapter 5, we're talking about the gas molecule. We're going to take R is 0 0.08206 liter ATM mole per Kelvin. Per mole per Kelvin. And T must be the temperature. So besides that, uh, you have to know uh, sometimes if the question asks for water displacement method, okay, we will use this formula. Pressure total is equal to pressure gas plus pressure H2O, where if the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, the pressure must be 23.8 tall. So how do I get this information? This is actually uh, for the pressure of H2O. This is vapor pressure as well as our gas constant. Uh, it is uh, available on your list of constant. Lah. This one is called as vapor pressure. Okay. So what is a water displacement method? It is a method where the reactant will react and produce our product. Okay. So usually it will produce gas. And this gas will be collected over water. So that's why it called water displacement method. Okay, so we have our inverted test tube here. Okay, and this is our collected gas. Okay, so gas from which part? Uh, gas from the product form lah. Uh, the reaction producing gas here. Okay, uh, so that's why the formula is pressure total is equal to pressure gas plus pressure H2O. This pressure is not only about the gas um, produced from the reaction. It will include the uh, pressure H2O is our vapor pressure, right? So here is from our vapor pressure and pressure gas from our reaction itself. Based on the question, it mentioned that uh, the gas produced is hydrogen gas. Okay. So actually here, zinc chloride is a solid. Okay, so our product here is a pressure of H2 gas. Okay, so if the question did give us about collected over water, okay, or sometimes it will mention water displacement method. So this is the first formula that you're going to use lah. Okay, but now what I'm going to write down is I'm going to extract all the information that we have from the question, which is temperature, a pressure, a volume, pressure, this one, pressure is 0 0.98 atm here. This one, here will be our pressure total, uh, all the total pressure lah. Okay, so here it mentioned that pressure of water is 0 0.0313 atm. So 0 0.98 is your pressure total lah, this one. Okay. So, this is pressure of H2O. Okay, so in this question, it have given us the pressure of H2O lah, 0 0.03138 atm. If the question does not give it to you, the pressure of H2O, again, you can refer back to your list of constant uh, where the pressure is actually 23.8 tau at 25 degrees Celsius. For this question, uh, it already uh, changed the tau to the ATM so we don't have to convert lah okay so how do we change tor to ATM is actually one ATM is equivalent to 760 tor this one you don't have to memorize again this is based on the list of constant we can see that the, the other values lah so if you don't memorize you should refer to that um but this case pressure of H2O it, it has given to us in ATM 
Okay, so when we're talking about water displacement method, we're going to use this formula. Okay, in this case, our pressure gas, specifically, we know that it is hydrogen. Depends on the question lah. Sometimes it could be nitrogen, it could be ammonia, it could be chlorine. So, but then the H2O is a fixed one lah. Okay, so next what I have to do is actually I'm going to substitute this value. Since all of it is in the same um, unit, so we're just going to substitute straight away lah. So now we know that the pressure of H2 is 0 0.9487 atm. Okay, so that's the first part. Again, when we're talking about water displacement method, please use this formula. H2O is a fixed one lah. Uh, gas ni depends. Sometimes question bagi nitrogen, it could be chlorine, it could be ammonia. Okay, so that's why the formula in general, pressure gas. But then you have to be specific. In this case, in this question, our gas is H2. So back to the question, what does it want? Calculate the amount of zinc metal in gram. So when we're talking about gram, the unit of gram is actually about our mass. So that's why I denote it as what is the mass of zinc. Okay, but then how do we know the mass? Uh, mass is actually using this formula. Number of mole equal to mass divided by molar mass. In this case, number of mole of zinc. But right now, how do we know the number of mole of zinc? Okay, this one. Based on the information that we've known, H2, we only know about H2, okay? So, actually, how do we know about zinc? We have to compare with H2. Back to chapter 1, 1 mole of H2 equivalent to 1 mole of zinc, okay? So, right now, we have to find the mole first. Again, why mole? Then we can find the mass. But then, zinc, we don't have any information. That's why we have to use H2. Now we have to find the number of mole of H2. So how do we find out the number of mole of H2? Uh, given that we know the pressure of H2. Uh, so back again, chapter 5. When we're talking about ideal gas equation, uh, we have to use this one. Lah. PV is equal to NRT. PV is equal to NRT. Again, we're talking about we want to find the number of mole of H2. So for the pressure, must be pressure of H2 lah. Because right now, we have pressure total ada, pressure H2O ada, pressure H2 ada. So that's why we have to find the pressure H2. We're going to find this. Volume ada, dia bagi uh, volume here. Okay. So I'm going to use PV is equal to NRT. Make sure each of the uh, measurement must be have the same unit lah. Okay, what does it mean? So, R is 0 0.08206 liter ATM per mole per Kelvin. So, pressure must be in ATM. So, it does in ATM. Okay, and then the volume must be in liter. Volume is in liter. Okay, number of mole is our unknown. R is a gas constant. Temperature, uh, temperature must be in Kelvin, you need the per Kelvin. So temperature 25, we have to change into Kelvin, which we have to add to 73.15 to change from degree Celsius to Kelvin. So it will be 298.15. Once you have calculated all, or you have to change it into the um, correct unit, then we can substitute to get the number of moles straight away. You will get the number of mole of H2 to be 0 0.3025. So this is only the mole of H2. Again, the question was the mass of zinc. How to know the mass? We have to find the mole. So how do we know the mole of zinc? We have to compare these two lah. Okay, so once I've known this one, so I can use uh, 1 mole of zinc equivalent to 1 mole of H2 gas. So for the comparison or for the stoichiometry, it goes back to your chapter 1 lah. So it's fine if you, uh, this is interchangeable, interchangeable. So if you want to write down 1 mole zinc first point, it's fine. So it means that here will be your X lah. But then it's actually 1 to 1 ratio kan. So we know that uh, the mole of zinc uh, is equal to the mole of H2 lah, which is 0 0.3025. Okay, that is only the mole of zinc. The question wants to find the mass. So again, from mole to mass, we have to use number of mole equal to mass divided by molar mass. The number of mole is known. Molar mass, please refer to your list of constant. Using is 65.4. Once you have substitute, you will get the value of your mass to be 19.78. So that is what the question wants. The mass of zinc itself, lah, this one. So again, when we're talking about water displacement method, it's quite a long step. But then if you see the question, water displacement method, so you have to use this formula. Gas plus H2O 
gas, the H2O is a constant, especially if the temperature is 25. Okay. In this case, it already changed, uh, it gives us in ATM, so we don't have to change it lah. Kalau tak, list of constant given to, we have to change it. Okay, then we can find the pressure of gas. Okay, so that's the first step. Okay, next, um, for the next step, please refer back to the question, what does it want? In this case, once the mass of zinc, uh, what we have now is H2. So, we have to find the information about H2 first. Uh, here goes back to our chapter 1, the stoichiometry. Okay, uh, then once we have known uh, information about the zinc, uh, usually here from the stoichiometry, we find the mole. Lah. Okay, then you can find the mass. Okay, so that is all for question A. Question B, pure water has a triple point at 0 0.01 degrees Celsius, 0 0.006 atm, and critical point of 374 degrees Celsius and 218 atm. Okay, ske sketch a label first diagram of pure water. Okay, draw a line to indicate the boiling point of pure water. So for this question, one Roman here, we got two parts of a question lah. Okay, first is to sketch a label first diagram. So what is actually first diagram? It's a diagram uh, involving our uh, pressure and temperature. Where pressure is your y-axis and temperature is your x-axis. Once you have drawn the axis, next you have to draw the shape itself. Okay, so for the shape of the freeze diagram, uh, it's like, uh, what do you call it? Ranting kayu. Okay, so for our syllabus, we only about, uh, we learn about two lah, CO2, is this one. Okay, but then question asks for H2O. So what is the difference between CO2 and H2O? It's actually this part. Okay, uh, this part, okay, this one will be sloped there to the left, H2O. Kalau CO2 slope yang this one, uh, it's actually between solid dengan liquid. Uh, this is what we call the melting curve. The solid to liquid melting kan. So, this is what we call melting curve. For CO2, it will be leaning to the right. But for the case of H2O, we will be leaning to the left. Okay. This is an exception. So, this case asks for water. So, this is the shape that we have to draw lah. Once you have drawn the structure, make sure label that it is sealed. Okay. Once you have drawn the structure, make sure it does not start with zero first lah. Okay, and then you have to label this is solid, this is liquid, this is gas. A gas can also be written as vapor pun boleh. It's either this two lah. If you want to write down as triple point pun, no problem. Or you can denote it as T itself pun boleh. So that's the first one. The second one is the critical point. Critical point is where the point where the liquid and gas cannot be uh, extinguished lagi. So, uh, the last point here lah, this one. This will be our C. Again, if the question asks for a sketch of freeze diagram, so this is the information that you have to draw lah. But for this case, um, it have given us the value. Pure water has a triple point of 0 0.01 degrees Celsius and 0 0.006 atm, uh, as well as the unit. Then, here we have to include the unit lah for the pressure and temperature since it have given us the unit. Now we know that the triple point is, here is 0 0.01, here is 0 0.006 uh, and then you have to label lah, okay, since the value are given to you. The same goes for critical point, uh, critical point here is uh, 218 atm and 374 degree Celsius. Uh, so make sure you have written the value as mentioned. Uh, make sure it's the same one lah. Make sure this correct one. Uh, jangan to confuse. Okay? okay. So this is the uh, label phase diagram of pure water. Since the question did give us the value as well as the unit, then you have to include lah. If not, yeah, you don't have to do so. What you have to do is you draw the shape, you label it out. Okay? And then don't forget to label the triple point and the critical point. Okay, so that's the first part of the question. The second part of the question is draw a line to indicate the boiling point of pure water. So the boiling point of pure water is 100 degrees Celsius. But then again, for the freeze diagram, it's not only about temperature, it is only about the pressure. Okay, so pressure, our atmospheric pressure is 1 atm. So I'm just going to label here the, my boiling point. Okay, so now what we have to do with the information is that we have to label here lah. Dekat sini, where's our boiling point of pure water? So, I'm just going to denote, okay, 1 atm. 1 atm is, must be between these two values. Okay, so I'm just going to write down here, for example. And then 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, based on these two, it will be getting nearer to the um 374 lah. 
Okay. So, and then this point, again, our boiling point means that the changes involved is from our liquid to gas. So, the line must met uh, between here lah, liquid and gas here. Okay. Uh, so, it's not only about 100, and 100 degrees Celsius and 180 m. Uh, it must met uh, based on any of this line lah. Uh, sebab it is the changes from liquid to gas. Please make sure that it is the correct one and the temperature here on the must be 100, here must be 180 m. Okay, so that's the second part for question 1 Roman. Question 2 Roman, determine whether water or ice is denser. Explain your answer. So first you have to mention which one is more dense and then the explanation. Okay, so how does um, we're going to talk about the explanation? Okay, so denser. Denser means about uh, density lah. <laughs> denser about density. Uh, density was the formula. Density is about mass divided by volume. So when we're talking about density, uh, usually here we're talking about when we mention which one is dense, we have to compare the volume. So first part of the question, which one is more denser, we're going to talk that water is denser lah. Uh, ice ni is less dense, uh, less dense. Uh, sebab dia less dense, that's why the ice is floating. Kalau kita minum air, any ice sejuk, it will float to the top lah. For example, your bobati. Uh, kalau bobati pun, uh, ice yang float dekat atas, the ice float above while the boba stay um, at the bottom kan. Uh, so, why does it float? Because it is less dense than water. So, you can also mention about uh, your water is more dense than ice pun boleh. Uh, both is fine lah. So, uh, it is it means the same thing. Uh, maksud dia, uh, water is more dense. Uh, Kes ni, ice is less dense than water. Same lah. Okay, and then we have to mention the reason. So, we have to write down because. For the density, uh, mostly, again, based on the formula, density is equal to mass over volume. We're going to compare about the volume. So, here I have my ice structure, crystal structure, and the liquid water. So, both of the structures actually have hydrogen bonding. But then, if your ice is actually, uh, it, this is what we call open structure lah. Uh, because, as we can see, the punya shape ni macam tetrahid. There is sebenarnya a dua bonding here, ada dua lone pair here. Okay. So, this is the shape. So, again, for the case of ice uh, crystal structure, what happened here is that the volume is high. This one, for the liquid water, volume is low. Okay, so what happened to density? So, that's why for this part, density of ice is low while density of water is high. Again, back to the formula lah. It is inversely proportional. So, volume high, uh, density low. Uh, so that's why ice is less dense. So about the reason, we can mention about the volume. The reason is volume of ice is bigger than water. So you don't have to draw the structure, but basically why do we mention that the uh, volume of ice is bigger? Uh, it's this one lah, called liquid water. Uh, the volume is low. Or you can also mention that the ice knee has an open structure. So, this is the answer for question to Roman. Okay, for this one, again, you have to mention which one is dense or which one is less dense. Um, the important part is explain your answer as well. Lah. You don't have to draw. This one is the explanation why we mentioned that the volume is high. Okay, so that is the solution for question number four for PSPM 2022-2023.